Operations taking place in and around uh, the city of Raleigh. Yeah, in fact, she's at the food bank right now with how they are preparing to help people in need. Bridget. Right, guys, we talked so much about what people are going through right now along the coast and some of that devastation we're seeing. So it's important to keep in mind how we can help them. We're at the food bank right now where about 100 volunteers are expected just today to be here to help out. I'm here with Amy with the food bank. Tell me a little bit about what's going on any minute now, actually. Yes, all the food behind me will be put into about 500 disaster relief boxes. We've packed about 1,000 today. We have about 5,000 have already been distributed to our coastal communities in preparation for Dorian's um, landfall. And we were talking earlier about how this is, in, it's such a major need because there are people still in need from Florence. And so with that, I mean, how important is it if people can to help out and donate? It's very important. We still are serving families throughout eastern North Carolina from Florence. You know, we have a thousand families in Pender County who are still displaced. We have a disaster relief pantry still going in Jones County. And this is just more, um, I can't believe it's been a year, but um, it's happening again to those same communities. So we need your support. We need volunteers to help pack these boxes. It's going to be an ongoing effort. We are here for the long haul for these families. What is kind of the priority? priority level right now in terms of donations? Is it money? Is it time? Is it items? All of the above. Money is always wonderful. For every dollar, we can provide five meals and we're able to purchase exactly what we need. We know the needs change throughout the storm. Right now, we need water. As the storm passes through, we'll need cleaning supplies. We'll need perishable foods. We'll need snack foods on, for the shelters. Um, so the needs will consistently change. Uh, so money is always helpful because we can purchase what we need at that time. Um, we are in need of water right now. That's the request we're getting most from our pantries, um, and we are always in need of people to come and help um, pack these boxes. And throughout the day, as I mentioned, about 100 people and 1,000 boxes you think are today are going to be packed. Is that right? That's correct. Just today in this facility, 1,000 boxes. And what was the total number that you were telling me about earlier? Uh, we've had about 5,000 already packed and distributed to the communities on the coastal community so that everything is there and ready to start our effort also had about 30,000, 35,000 pounds of food distributed throughout our partners um, alongside the coastal communities to make sure that we're ready to go as soon as the storm passes. How big of a difference do these donations make to these people in need right now? It's life-changing. Um, you have to think when you're without water or access to food, I mean, what do you do? We, we don't have to live that every day, but these families will be living that soon. Well, thank you so much. Again, volunteers are here. They're getting ready. Uh, they have an organizational plan down. We're going to be here for it, and we'll, of course, bring you the updates. For now, live in Raleigh, Bridget Chapman, CBS 17 News. All right, Bridget. It is amazing to see so many people coming together to help people mm -hmm. in need.